All right, hello. Welcome to this weather update. It's 3 p.m. on November 15, 2020. It seems pretty dark out there, and we're uh, in a risk for a severe thunderstorm that we want to talk about. A slight risk for today and tonight. You can see the SPC has put that region over us, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, and parts of Pennsylvania, and also this other part of New York. And you can see there's a line. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the radar right now. Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and look at the... Um, the uh, statement from our National Weather Service on this. And in this one, I'm just going to be updating you on the thunderstorms. So, uh, as a six, it's a, so between 6 to, to 8 p.m. north and west of New York City, 7 to 9 p.m. Hudson River Corridor in New York City Metro, and 9 to 11 p.m. Long Island, Southern Connecticut. Main uh, issue with these storms is going to be damaging winds, wind gusts in excess of 58 miles an hour. Um, so uh, we have a uh, slight risk, uh, and you can see this is the what they've painted us over. So the squall line will move across the region this evening. Um, and uh, it's really uh, something that uh, we're going to be taking a look at right now on the radar. So let's go to the radar right now and uh, look at the radar here. And uh, we're going to look at the regional radar here. So here's the line. You can clearly see it. Let's put this loop in here. Oh yeah, let's go to the full resolution version. Oh, it's just this. All right, well you can see the line right here. There it is, right there. This is the coal front. So this is going to be moving into the area later tonight. And let's take a look at the new radar site because they have a new radar site that we're going to check out here. That is the second time the fire siren has gone off in a couple of hours. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear that. Um, so this is the radar, and you can see yeah, you can see these lines of storms here. This is the new radar here. Let's see if we can put this in motion here. Let's load this. So you see, this is the approaching coal front that is coming through right now. So it's coming through western New York, western PA. Uh, it's still a ways away from us. So uh, let's look at the current conditions outside right now on the weather and hazards map, and you can see... We've got a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. I could put the radar up here too. And also severe thunderstorm watches. Now our area hasn't been put in one, but it could we could wind up being put in one. You could see lots of severe thunderstorm warnings. I don't know the you can really see the radar. You have to change the opacity, I think. Of the uh, let me change the opacity of these hazards. So we can see the radar a little better. Here you can see uh, where those lines are right there. So, uh, yeah, uh, we've got some intense, uh, uh, this is low tops. Um, so let's go take a look at the current conditions outside right now. And you can see we've got some wind already out there. Uh, wind gusts to 26 miles an hour at Farmingdale. Well, sure, we got wind gusts to 34. JFK is a wind gust to 32. Uh, so we're in this humid air. Uh, uh, dew points are rising. I haven't gotten that high yet, uh, up to 50 there. Um, you can see uh, we've got some strong winds in the area already moving in. And if we go ahead and we look at the area where these storms are hitting, uh, you will see. Let's see if we get it to the what kind of wind gusts they're getting with the storms. Let's see any, oh, there's one, 40 miles an hour. So it's a 40 mile an hour wind gust at uh, Jefferson County Airport in Dubois. Pennsylvania. Um, so you get some. Well, he's a 59 mile an hour wind gust here at this airport. This is at Franklin Airport. So uh, yeah, these are going to cause some power outages. Unless that was that is another one. So these are going to cause some power outages for sure with these uh, with these wind gusts here. It's just crazy to see a line like this in November. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. That, that's all I got to say. Uh, so uh, we're going to look and see because we could already be getting power outages and problems today. So let's go to the power outage map and see what we've got. Oh, this line has caused a lot of outages in Ohio and Michigan. 347,000 people without power in Ohio and in Michigan, 202,000. And in Pennsylvania, we have 21,000 already. So uh, the storms are knocking out power. Um, with these wind gusts, we're going to see power outages uh, for sure. Um, you can see the areas that are getting hit by the storms. 
It's almost reminding me of a direct show. Um, it'd be funny if this is going to get labeled as a direct show or not. It's low topped though, but uh, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, this is crazy. Um, so let me look the lightning map. Let's see if these storms are producing. How much lightning these storms are producing, if any. Some lightning. Uh, not a lot of lightning with these. It's mostly going to be the wind and the heavy rain that's going to come. Mainly the wind. The wind gusts from these are, are going to be uh, really substantial. Uh, let's look at just see if Long Island is being affected by any power outages right now. I don't think we have too many, but we'll take a look and see because the winds are up. Just 75. Dam damage assessment and power. Today's strong winds have caused power outages. Okay, so uh, it's just the... Uh, haven't happened yet, but uh, we will see more and more power outages as time goes by, uh, time goes on. Uh, so that's going to wrap up this video here on these. Uh, oh, well, it's not going to wrap it up. Let's look at the models. Um, so this is the models of the line coming through. All right, so we stay dry more or less until we get toward after 7, 8 o'clock. Then that line gets closer, and you can see it's going to move through. Look at that. That is a solid line right there. It's going to hold together and get a solid line as it moves across Long Island right there. Be a quick hitter. Probably won't bring too much rain. It's mainly going to be the wind gusts with this line. If we look at the winds here, you can kind of see it a little bit. So um, let's look at the total precipitation. This is the HRRR, so total accumulated pre much rain. It's not going to bring all that much rain. I'll bring a quarter of an inch. It's mainly going to be the wind uh, that's going to be the main thing with this, as I spoke about yesterday in last night's weather update. Um, look at the NAM 3 kilometer, too, and see, again, what it looks like on the NAM 3 kilometer. And we'll use the radar with the wind here, if you get an idea. So that's a pretty solid line, and the NAM seems to have it move through. around um, sometime after 8 or something like that. 7, 8 o'clock, NAM has it moved through. Um, New York City, well actually it'll approach New York City around 9 o'clock and then uh, move through around here around 10 o'clock. This is going to be an impressive line for sure uh, that moves through. It's definitely going to be impressive. That is definitely very impressive to see on the radar for sure. So um, you can clearly see the strong south flow ahead of it. So uh, this is the risk we're going to be facing again. So I'm going to try to have another weather update before this line moves through. Um, and uh, like I said, we're just talking about this. I'll briefly take a look at the latest on IOTA. So IOTA has now uh, maximum sustained winds are 90 miles an hour. So it's undergoing rack, rack, rapid strengthening. Uh, and uh, it's location 13.1 north, 78.9 west, about 170 miles east of Isla de Provincia, Colombia, or about 315 miles east southeast of Cabo Gracias a Dios on the Nicaragua and Honduran border. Maximum sustained winds are 50 miles an hour. Moving west at 9 miles an hour, minimum sun suppression 177 millibars to 8.85 inches. The extent is outward up to 25 miles on the hurricane force winds. So it's a compact core with the hurricane force winds. Uh, and it could it is forecast to become an extremely dangerous Category 4 when it approaches Central America. So uh, if we look at the map, I mean, I can't help but talk about it because this is a very important weather story. Um, again, we look at this, you see the map here. Hurricane warnings now in effect for much of the coast of Nicaragua and Honduras. A terrible tragedy is about to happen here in this area. Another major disaster. Um, let me go back Let me go back to tropical tidbits and we'll uh, look at current storms and we'll just look at a satellite image of, of this so you can get an idea. Very impressive. Look at that. Wow. That is a very, very impressive storm right there. Very impressive. It's really undergoing rapid strengthening. It's it's starting to get that well-defined eye. You can see all the convection around it. Um, let's just change the plot type here. 
So let's just change this to the visible high res, so because we're still during the day, so you get an idea of what it looks like on the visible. Um, and you can see here, look at that really intense convection. So uh, this is going to be one hell of a monster storm. So we've got to be watching this, uh, but more immediately, we've got to be watching the squall line that's heading into our area. So uh, again, tonight, expected around, I'd say, any time after 9 o'clock, especially for Long Island. Um, and I'll try to keep you updated on it uh, before this thing hits because this is going to be causing a lot of problems, the squall line. And uh, just another crazy day in 2020. Thank you for watching.